People who work in human resources, what is the weirdest asterisk you have seen? As a reminder, please check out Rule 4 and do not post any email addresses. Even if they're fake. Thanks. The family of the guy who passed away came to speak to us, it was in a factory environment. To get pension docs etc. We sent them away with a to-do list. One hour later reception pinged us saying Mr. X's family was here. Strange. The documents take a few days to get. Nope. New family. Yup. The guy had two different families. Who were about to have a fun surprise. Guy came into the interview in sweatpants and a hoodie. And said he didn't need the job because of how much money he was making illegally. But he wanted to have a job so the IRS didn't get suspicious. Weirdest part is I don't live in America. I very much doubt the IRS cares about Canadian tax returns. One of the candidates I was interviewing via Skype answered the phone while in his boxers and a tank top then stood up to grab his blazer that was probably about 3 feet away. I had to see him in his stretched out boxers had a site up and open during a shared screen trial to see how well he can use the digital classroom. I had to remind him I can see his screen he goes, oh yeah sorry, next instead of just closing it from the corner of his partially hidden window he clicks open the window in full view then closes it that was nice. The maintenance guy had been living up above the ceiling of the building. He had built a little cubby living area with electricity and a small fridge and everything. Edit. For years. I once had a temp job in our. I was scanning lots of old personnel files. And the one perk of the job was reading old complaints against people. The best one I came across was a mediation caused by one member of staff accusing another of witchcraft. My dad works an hour. He just told me about a day when they had to lay off about half of the company. It was crazy and there were a whole lot of moving parts that day. Unfortunately. In all the craziness. No one remembered to tell this one new hire that sadly the position he was hired for was no longer affordable. So he came into the office only to see everyone clearing out their desks and leaving. And then, he got laid off. An hour into his first day. He said the guy understood. But it was the most horrible he ever felt for someone in his life. I used to work at a staffing agency that placed people at manufacturing positions. Everyone had to be drug tested at the office as part of the orientation. If the pee cup came back as inconclusive, we'd send the potential hire to a medical lab. They would take another drug test and the lab could determine if the person was on a prescription or using illegal drugs, and therefore not eligible for hire. So one guy failed his drug test at the lab. He came back to the office claiming that it wasn't his fault. He explained that he he was riding in a car and he stuck his head of the, the window. Then, when the car passed under a bridge, someone threw a bunch of cocaine off the bridge. It hit him in the face. And he accidentally inhaled it. The new receptionist was coming in every morning and opening up programs, documents to make it look like they were busy. And they'd sit with one hand on their mouse and one hand on their keyboard and stare blankly at their screen for 8 hours a day and not do anything. They'd also consistently pick up the phone and hang it up without saying anything so that it would stop ringing. I sat in on their termination. And the employee started screaming at the manager about how they were doing an amazing job. And they had to give them another chance. I was 100% confident that they were just trying to get some easy money and wouldn't be surprised that they were finally getting fired. The whole thing was just bizarre. An IT guy who worked the overnight shift because he was doing support for our Asia, Europe regions got written up for improper use of company systems. He had dozens of not hundreds of Google image searches related to foot fetish stuff. Like insert celebrity here feed along with other random stuff like cute toes etc like dude you're in it you know this stuff is tracked and that your boss could easily monitor it one of my relatives worked in tech support for a really high profile company in silicon valley during the height of the dot-com boom some guy who desperately wanted to work there was emailing his resume to hr 1000 times every day several times a day the number of emails would get too overwhelming so the people in hr would just select everything in the inbox and delete all of it whether it was from the applicant or not. My relative had to show them how to filter emails from the applicant. I was a recruiter. And you would be shocked to see what some people actually have as their personal email. Most people have come around to using just their name. 
But then every once in a while you'll have to verify that brown glitter 69 is in fact how they would like to be contacted. Had to delete someone from the system following them being murdered. Was a bad day. Edit. Over the years I've deleted 7 deaths including the murder. One pedophile and one murderer. Years ago I worked HR for a retail store. A manager would always clock out on time however the alarm wouldn't be set until about 30 to 45 minutes after he clocked out. Since we had a lot of trouble with internal theft we assumed he was stealing. Loss prevention approved the installation of cameras across all stores but we were told not to talk about it to see if we could catch any internal theft. The way the ceiling was set up the cameras weren't too obvious but if you knew what to look for it was quite noticeable. Anyway turned out this dude was banging a co-worker who was 16, he was 25 expecting his first child with his wife. I didn't see the footage but our regional manager of loss prevention did and had to turn it over to the police. The real kicker is the girl's dad was a captain on said police force. Edit. I'm not sure what happened to the guy unfortunately I didn't sit in when LP interviewed him. According to my district manager the authorities were notified but I'm not sure if he was arrested after the interview was finished. We weren't allowed to discuss what happened but word got around. This was in Texas and the age of consent is 17. And the female had just turned 16 a few months prior. As for her she officially resigned and last I heard she became a nurse. I used to work in HR at a large corporation. There was a big HR back office team doing a lot of processing and data entry including employees bank info for their salary. It just so happened that on the same day two employees with the same name started. And a huge clusterfuck ensued. First the banking information was entered for the wrong person. One of them realized and had it corrected. But the other wasn't fixed so both salaries went to one person the unpaid guy started refusing to come to work. But payroll said that the payment cleared and the account was in his name. So he was terminated for refusing to come to work. He kept calling and the HR support team kept misidentifying him as the other guy who was still working for us. So when they raised a ticket to get his bank information changed they changed the info of the wrong guy. So now the guy who doesn't work for us is getting paid the salary of a guy who does. When this was finally worked out the first guy was given his job back. But on his first day back security misidentified him and issued him a badge of the other employee. So now he was clocking hours for the other guy and not getting paid again because he never clocked in for himself. It took about three months for all this to be worked out. Moral of the story is use a email address to identify people edit. Yes the employees had unique ids. The problem was people were searching for them by name and tunnel visioning on the first result. Also I was suggesting the email can be used to identify people face to face or over the phone. I wasn't suggesting it should be used as the primary key in a database. Caught a site manager with like 50 plus pairs of panties hidden all over his office in Ziploc bags. A multitude of toys. And over 100k in cash stuffed in ceiling tiles. Took a while to unravel all of that. I worked closely with HR in a call center. You'd get some crazy stuff. Guy that carried a cooler every day was wiping on random walls and desks. It was his in his cooler. We thought it was his lunch. He got caught when he wiped it on the front desk directly inside of the camera. Another guy had a colostomy bag that he refused to empty when it got full. You would find these trails of liquid poo randomly and we had to throw out four chairs that he ruined. He was fired quickly and tried to claim discrimination because he was a veteran. You'd also get a crazy amount of period stains on chairs. Look. It happens. But when it's the same few people and we have free sanitary supplies in the bathroom, you know they just don't care. Call center employee calls HR to complain about their supervisor. He's abusive. He won't even let me leave my desk. Supervisor calls HR to complain about employee. Can you please tell underscore 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 that she's allowed to leave her desk? Oh my god. She's in her trash can. It may sound humorous, but there was significant mental issues at the heart of this. Female GM banging three co-workers at the same time. Fight broke out once everyone found out about it. I work HR for a call center. Entire company has around 500 employees. Maybe 250 of them are in the call center. Entry level work. Tiny bit more than minimum wage. A girl started her first week doing really well and then week two got really weird. 
She walked into the CEO's office on another floor in the building while he was meeting with someone to demand that he buy her a dog because she thought having a companion would improve her work performance. That was the entirety of her rationale. Edit. Many are asking. No she did not get the dog. I wasn't in the room with the CEO so I don't know exactly how he handled it. He is an exceptionally nice human being so I assume he handled it kindly. Though. I mean it made its way back to HR pretty quick so he definitely told some people about it. My colleague spoke with her about it and was just like. No. That's not a thing WTF. She was fired soon after for unrelated reasons, attendance I believe. Also many are questioning if she had some kind of mental disorder. I have no idea.